All right, welcome back, baseball fans, to the 69, 70, 71, 72 Carryover League. We are back in the 1970 box. We've taken a look at the American League East. We're going to move into the American League North now with Burlington, Cleveland, Detroit, and the Ohio players. And um, we know that four of the uh, 1970 cards are in the league. And then um, we open up the stack. There's a lot of uh, players available in the farm system. But before we look at those, we want to confirm that the there might be 669 and 271 cards in here. 69, LeBoy, Fairley, Mac Jones, McGinn, Staub, and Woodward are all currently in the Carryover League. And then 71, Bill Stoneman is. So... The Expos need a bunch of pitchers, and they got to replace Gary Carter, and um, they need to replace uh, a starter and three relievers. Well, Carl Morton, here you go, right on top there. Um, he goes in the rotation in two hundred three hundred with a three sixty ERA. I think he's in. I think he's your guy. He'll go in the rotation along with a pitcher they, they'll take from the 69 draft. Now this John Bateman, now we're getting closer to uh, a player to replace Gary Carter. In the 69 box, Ron Brand had a plus two arm and no power. John Bateman's got a minus two arm and it's power both ways. It's about what, 245, 237. But he played a full season. So it could be that Morton and Bateman are the two guys. So and with plenty more to consider. So this is good news because they could always trade guys. Jim Gosiger is a left-handed hitting outfielder. He's pretty good actually, um, but they need to replace a right-handed hitting outfielder. Here's Steve Ranko again. We saw him last time. He rotates his ERA's four and a half, four thirty. I think let's let's pass again. I think we're going to pass on Ranko. Because um, we we like Morton and we like uh, one of the guys from the '69 box, Fred Sherman, lefty reliever. Here you go. They need a lefty reliever to replace. Um, they have a uh, Rick Waits, I think. 3.21 ERA. Definitely getting the league. There's always a shortage of good left-handed pitching, so Sherman works. So now you see that they have a choice. They have Morton, Bateman. And Sherman are all viable options, but they could just put, wait, keep them in the farm system because they're going to need to go to this box one more time next year. So when you're eyeing uh, your team, you're looking at four guys over two years. If you can hide two of those guys, it's really hard to hide Sherman or Bateman or Morton. And then here's Claude Raymond. We know he's better. Not that much better, though. Mike Wigner. Not that, not that much better. And Gary Wasilewski. He's a decent reliever. So anyway, there's a lot of good options for the Expos. That's real good news. All right, next up is Cleveland, who lost Franco, Francona, Tommy Hur, Lescano, Wolford, and two right-handed pitchers and a lefty reliever. The lefty reliever is Mike Paul. So two righty starters... A couple middle infielders and a couple outfielders is what they need. And there's they have Cardinal, Horton, McDowell, Sims, Tiant, and Eddie Watt, all from the 69 set. So, Rich Hand is available for the 383 ERA. It's not bad. Roy Foster is an outfielder. That could he could replace uh, Lescano. Uh, a lot of power, right-handed batter. 23 homers and 477 at bats. That's pretty good. It could be him. Eddie Leone, little infielder. He's okay. Uh, we can be a little more picky in 1970 because we have 64. There's 64 four more players in the box here. So the pool is a little bit bigger than the 69 pool. Danny Higgins. Here we have four. Phil Hannigan is all right. Seven, area four. Steve Dunning, 498. 
Buddy Bradford, I believe we have a better year in 69 for Buddy Bradford, so I don't think he'll go. And that's it. And that's the Cleveland look. You're definitely getting to see more cards than before. Next up are the Detroit Tigers. They lost Brickens, Krenchicki, Kuntz, Travel Whitaker, Thornton, Wilcox, and Hernandez. We know we uh, the second baseman will be McAuliffe. Question is, which year is it going to be? It could be this year. But anyway, Coleman is in 71. Cash, Horton, Lolich, McLean, and Northrop are all 69. So here's McAuliffe. I got to say, I like the 69 version better. Even though this one walked 101 times, you very seldom see a guy with 101 walks have a distribution like this, though. That's rather curious. I would never guess this guy walked 101 times by looking at this card. So, hmm. And he hit 234. So the other McCall, the 69 version, might be the one you use. Les Kane, a good lefty starter. That's a nice card there. 383 ERA. Mickey Stanley, we saw he wasn't that good in 69. 1970, 1 2E0 in center field. And he's a lot better hitter. He hits about 260 here. 252 in 568 at bats. Elliot Maddox, interesting player. Uh, good defensive player and can uh, fill in as a utility guy. Don't want to take this Gates Brown because uh, he's got, he hits like 338 in 1971. So, it would appear that maybe Les Kane and maybe Mickey Stanley get taken from this box. <laughs> and lastly, we will move on to the Ohio players. Now the Ohio players lost a tremendous amount of talent from uh, 1984. They lost their entire outfield, which was uh, Jerry Mumphrey, George, uh, not George Hendrick, but uh, Chili Davis, and, oh, I can't think of the other guy they lost. Um, but they lost uh, a lot of offense. And they have Doc Ellis, Al Downing, Jackie Hernandez, Rudy May, 71 Ike Brown, and 71 Don Wilson here. So here's Oscar Gamble. We saw him in the 69 set as well. And curiously, he's still not very good. He doesn't have power. Uh, never known for his defense. Known, known to be a platoon pull hitter, but not that much power. Homer 1 to 3 fly ball without power means a lot of plate appearances. You know, one homer and 275 plate appearances. I'm just not seeing that for this card. But here is JLU. Now he could fill, uh, take one of those outfield slots. They lose Barfield, Chili Davis, Mike Eastler, Jerry Mumford from the outfield, and Tony Pena and Alfredo Griffin from the infield, and two right handed pitchers. So JLU could replace Barfield in the outfield. That's excellent. That's a 306 hitter. JLU, I think. Earl Wilson. And I believe we like Earl Wilson from 1969. He's better than he is in 70. JC Martin is also available in 69, but he's he's not that good then either. A very young Cesar Geronimo. Uh, this is definitely a weight. Well, actually, funny part about it is a two minus three. He probably it's like two fifty, two forty three. No, I don't see it. Now you got to wait on Geronimo until he uh, gets more playing time. So it looks like J. L. Lou would be the only guy here worth recommending, and uh, he would he would belong in the outfield for the Ohio players next year. That's a pretty good pick. They need a lot of help. They're gonna uh, the expansion teams that we've seen at this point really lose a lot of talented players. And in this division, you basically have two expansion teams that you consider that the Expos didn't exist in '69. So this division still seems to belong to Detroit at this time. Put those back. All right, that's it for the America League North. Thank you for checking out the videos. We'll see you again next time.